Todd Smith, the Republican chairman of the House Elections Committee, frames the GOP push for voters presenting photo IDs at the polls as vital. Hearings are happening today and Tuesday. Why do we need voter ID? Well, the, 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 the reason that we need legislation uh, to uh, enhance the security at our polls uh, is because there is significant evidence, first of all, uh, of voter fraud. Uh, and second of all, uh, there is a substantial loss of faith uh, by the people of the state and across this country uh, in their electoral process. And when you lose faith in your electoral process, uh, it, it will undermine your system. We, we have uh, examples of uh, dead people voting. Uh, we have examples of people voting twice. Uh, we have uh, uh, an affidavit uh, within the last month uh, from a gentleman in a, a South Texas uh, town uh, where uh, he swears under oath that uh, uh, someone uh, offered him uh, money, I believe, if, if I'm recalling that correctly, uh, to go to the polls, carry someone else's voter registration card, and vote on their behalf. Um, uh, the, uh, uh, we'll have testimony in the next two days, and we will get a better understanding of the extent to which it occurs and of the type of fraud that occurs. So we already have that. This is, uh, this is totally unnecessary. I mean, this is one of these unnecessary laws that... Isn't it possible now, though, that someone could go and vote using your voter reg card without ever showing anything? They could just walk right in there, flash a card with your name on it, and vote for you? No. Why do you think that can't happen? Because they have people in place when you walk in, and you go through about two or three different steps. You, uh, if you have your voter's registration card, um, they, um, they have it. Uh, if you don't, you have, that's when you present your um, driver's license. I don't, I don't think people, I just don't think the voter's registration card is something that people really want to steal, to be honest. Well, actually, I'm against the voter ID. Tell me why. Um, I'm against it because I think it's going to uh, disenfranchise different uh, populations, particularly people with disabilities, uh, women, and minority groups to not allow them to be able to participate in the voting What is process. so hard in this modern world about having a photo ID with you to vote? What, 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 why does that deter people from voting? Well, I think it's just a, a process that uh, prevents people from going in. Everybody has different situations and circumstances, and I don't think it should be placed on somebody that prevents somebody to be able to have a basic right to vote. What's important to you? What matters in this debate? Well, I voted against it before because I thought it was making our people that are working the election polls on election day the enforcement agencies and I thought it was putting too much work on them and I didn't think it was practical from that standpoint because these are almost volunteers that agree to handle the elections each day, each election day and when you start putting heavier burdens of proof on them about qualifications of people to vote I was afraid it would discourage their participation. That's why we have hearings is to learn, get information, get facts based on what we learn, based on the information that we receive, uh, we will then begin the process of drafting the legislation that at least I'm going to recommend. In the end, likely to be negotiated privately, you and the chairman on the Senate side sort of sorting things out, saying bam, 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 this is what we can agree on. Well, uh, we're a long way from having any negotiations with the chairman on the Senate side. Uh, in, in the short term, my negotiations and discussions will be occurring with my colleagues on the House floor. Um, we have begun those discussions uh, in, in representatives of both parties. Uh, the discussions have gone well. Uh, I'm very hopeful and optimistic that we will be able to come forward with a piece of legislation that has a great deal of bipartisan support. Most immediately, Chairman Smith expects tonight's hearing featuring the Chief Elections Officer from Indiana, which has a strict ID law, to end by midnight. The general public is invited to speak out Tuesday at the Capitol.